Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at ModMyEye.com. Today we're going to be looking at some of the top iOS 8 features. I will call it top 10. And the first one we're going to look at is probably one of the most anticipated ones of iOS 8 was the quick reply. And you can see right on the screen here, that's the first one we have looking at us. All right, you simply get these uh, texts coming in on the lock screen. If you want to swipe left, all you have to do is just swipe left and tap reply. And it'll pull up the little box right up at the top. Now, there's other ways you can do it. Okay, for instance, if you are inside iOS and you get this, you can simply just tap the reply button right there as well. Now, also, uh, I have this set on the alert style, which is what I prefer because it looks something similar to uh, by SMS if you're familiar with that. Uh, if you have it on banner style, you get the little banner up here at the top. You can just simply tap that and you can reply that way too. So that's your quick reply. The next thing we're going to go into here today, how you can delete a thread. That's one thing they've added. It's really easy to do. You can either tap the edit button, choose the thread you want to delete, and then just tap delete in here at the bottom. Or you can just swipe left over the thread you want to delete like so and just tap delete and it deletes that thread okay so that's that's some uh features about the quick reply and the text messaging i guess you could say the next one we're looking at here is called it's going to be well I don't th it's not called anything but uh the predictive keyboard that was something that everybody was really looking forward to getting and if we go into the message app, we'll hit the new and you see up at the top, we got the message app. And what this does, it actually reads your text thread, the, the conversation thread, and bases the prediction on what's been said. It don't just randomly choose a word. How are you doing today? But since we don't have any conversation started in here yet, you know, it's not doing very well. How are you today? I'm feeling, see, feeling okay. All right. That's the pr predictive keyboard or suggestive keyboard. And the next one is going to be in the camera app. If we open up the camera app and inside here you have a new timer up here at the top you can choose from three or ten seconds and we'll just leave that turned off then here at the bottom you can choose from photo video and even what they're calling time lapse so if if we go up here to time lapse and let's turn it on like this like here and we'll just sort of wave at the camera and it, and it does it very, very fast when it plays it back. So now when we play it back, you'll see it's very fast. Okay, that's what they're calling time lapse. Okay. Now, also in the photos, in the camera app, uh, there's just so much you can do. You can, you, you can make video photo. You got the square and you got pa panorama. Um, and you can add all these different filters to your, pictures before you even take them and once you have taken a photo and it puts it in your your album of course and this was a picture I took of myself earlier just being stupid you can open it up and tap edit and in here you can crop down here at the bottom and it has this awesome rotation that you can straighten it's a straighten tool and you can even increase and decrease the lighting you know, if you wanted it black and white, you could choose that. There it is in black and white. Um, and if you want to go in here and, and change the the lighting, the brightness right here, the exposure even. And see, I'm just messing this all up. in the shadows, I mean, it's just so much you can do here with this. It's just, it's just awesome. Actually, you can make your photography look 
just about professional, if not professional. The when iOS when iOS eight comes out, which it already is this way, that iPhone 5s in the right person's hands would be a professional quality photographer capability. So that's some stuff you can do with the photos and the camera app. You can also send audio messages and video directly from inside the message app. The little microphone over here on the right, if you tap and hold that down, it will begin recording your message. See it recording there? It's working as we speak. And you just simply swipe up and it puts that in the message and it goes to the other other person that you're speaking with if you want to send a video message you just tap and hold on that and then hit the record button and then when you're finished just tap the up button and it'll put it right in the message too two awesome features there guys for the message app that's that's very cool stuff now uh they've automatically added the emoji you don't have to worry about enabling that here it's right there for you and you got the little microphone down here too if you want to speak your text down there that works just like it always did they have removed the uh, passcode section from under general and put it here by itself so you can get to it a lot faster if you want to turn on and off a passcode so let's go ahead and turn that on and now we have a passcode so now when we try to enter we'll have to enter a passcode now but the real reason i wanted to show you this is now when we try to log to slide to unlock we got this emergency here so if we got this uh feature now that we can enter all of our emergency number and contact information for and, and any kind of medical stuff you might want uh, this would be where you would put the per the contact number for whoever you would want called in case of a wreck if someone found your phone. And they could even tap your medical ID to get your name, blood type, if you've had any medical conditions, if you have any type of allergies, what medications you're on, anything like that. That's all set up from inside the settings app. Um, I'm sorry, not the settings app, but the uh, health app. You go in here and you've got all these different dashboards, but here's the medical ID right here. This is where you put all that information in and then it will display it on the lock screen for someone if, in case of emergency. Here you can enter your vital signs. Uh, if you want to track your health, this is where the health app is going to be working at. Uh, as of right now, I don't have any applications that's working with this, but I'm sure there'll be hundreds before, before too long. You, you can enter your heart rate. It can track your heart rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, respiratory rate, body temperature, all from inside this health application inside iOS 8. They've also had this little bug reporter here. So if you're having problems, you can send it directly to Apple and that lets them know that there's problems that way the spotlight search has been a big update uh if you just want to look for some music then you see here we're, we're searching applications here's music too and i've already gone ahead and disabled a lot of stuff here i thought i turned the mail off but you can even search the web and wikipedia right from search the, the uh, spotlight now and you saw how fast and easy that works so guys, there are some awesome features. I think that's going to be at, at least 10. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want more iOS 8 coverage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And I'll have the links in the description for the Facebook and Twitter for ModMy.com. And keep coming back.